Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to be talking about Toy Story 4, uh, the new trailer. All right, usually I give spoiler warnings. There's no spoiler warning for this, but there is an evangelical Christianity warning. So I'm going to talk about Toy Story 4 trailer today, and I'm also going to talk about evangelical Christianity, because I think they're both trying to answer the same questions, all right? So you've been warned. All right, let's move forward. All right, so, I, I, um, so the Toy Story 4 trailer came up. And um, I was really fascinated by it. Uh, you know, at first I was kind of like, uh, you know, the, the ubiquitous eye roll, Toy Story 4, really? We're going back to the well here. You know, but the reality is um, I am a fan of intellectual properties that Disney owns. I used to be able to say I was a fan of Disney and just end the sentence there. Uh, I can't really say that anymore. I am a fan of intellectual properties that Disney owns. I'm hoping to return it. I'm hoping that I may be able to return to being a fan of Disney. End of sentence. We're certainly not there yet, but we'll see what happens. All right. So, Toy Story 4 trailer comes out. I watched the whole trailer, and I was like, holy cows. That is incredible. All right, so here's the thing. Um, here's what happens in the trailer. So, Woody uh, tells all the other toys, hey, Bonnie, the child that we belong to right now, um, has created a toy, or has created a friend, right? Which is Forky, this toy, all right? Now, Woody and all the other toys are manufactured toys. There are toys that were made for a child. They were not made for Bonnie, okay? Forky is different. Forky is a, is a spork that um, Bonnie has attached feet to, has attached eyes to, has attached arms to, and she has made Forky as a special toy for herself. She has taken a thing and molded it into uh, a being, right? And that being has has special importance to her more than anyone else in the whole universe. And in fact, in some ways, it's quite likely that Forky is worthless to anyone else in the, in the universe except Bonnie. However... Because Woody uh, cares for Bonnie so much, and his whole life is really kind of dedicated to making sure that Bonnie is happy and fulfilled, he, uh, Woody says to all the other toys, we have to protect Forky and make sure that Forky is well so that Bonnie is well, okay? Now, this is absolute... So that's the setup for this movie, right? This is incredible, right? Because I think really what this is, is this, this, this film... Toy Story 4 is ask, is answering one, it's asking one question and it will supply an answer, right? And the question is, what is the purpose of a human being, right? Now, within that question, there's a lot of other questions, right? It's like, what is, what is the value of a human being, right? What are we created for, right? What's the purpose of life, right? But all of that is rolled up into one question, one question. What is the purpose of a human being? What are we created for, right? You know, like, why are we here, right? And that, it doesn't get more deep than that. There's no one on this planet who is asking a deeper question than that question, right? Now, here's the sad, I'm going <laughs> to, I guess there are going to be spoilers in this. Here's the sad thing. Disney has absolutely no ability to answer that question, Right? And the reality is the reason why is it's a corporation, right? And they're going to bring... And so this is art, and they're going to bring forward this story, you know. And I'm just convinced that Disney has zero ability to answer that question based on the questions they've raised in their other films and the answers they've brought forward, right? Now, the reality is if you don't have the ability to answer a question and you pose it in your trailer... Guess what? I'm an evangelical Christian. I know what the pur I know what the purpose of human beings are, right? I'm about to tell you, but we're gonna, we'll, you know, we'll get there, right? So, but it's, I mean, that's incredible. That and oh, so let me, let's stop here and I'll address. I can hear you. I can hear you. Like Scott, this is just a kids movie. Oh uh, no! <laughs> like okay, this is Pixar. They use ex they they make their bread and butter making people cry, right? They you Pixar uses existential angst the way a carpenter uses wood, the way a fisherman uses a fishing rod, the way uh, a you know the way a mason uses stone. Are you kidding me? Like they are going right at this question. This has got 
absolutely nothing to do with children, right? Like, and, you know, one of the things that's super clear is, like, The Incredibles, right? Those, those movies masquerade as children's movies. Inside Out, that movie masquerades as a children's movie. But these, like, these are, you know, Incredibles, th those movies are all about what is a family? That's the question that's being answered there. And, um, and Disney is supplying an answer, right? Disney is supplying an answer, right? And, uh, and Inside Out, um, what is the value of therapy? <laughs> like, you know, and Disney is supplying an answer, right? So here, so my point is, I know that Pixar is going right at the question, what is the purpose of a human being, right? And I know that they're going to bring an answer, and I know before they answer that question, there's no way they're going to be able to answer that question. And the reason why is they're a corporation, right? They have they have so many masters. They have so many things they need to accomplish them with that film. And actually answering the most important question in life is not one of them, right? Like, it's not even on the list, in my opinion. So what is the purpose of life, right? Well, we get that from the Bible. The Bible says it very... Uh, uh, actually, so what is the purpose of life? The Bible makes it clear that the purpose of life is to glorify God, right? Now, I got I got some sad news, right? If you are not a Christian, you cannot glorify God. It is impossible, right? Our entire purpose, the purpose of human beings is to bring glory to God, right? God is this all-powerful being. He's all-knowing. He's all-loving. Um, he is all, uh, he's all, all powerful, all knowing, all loving. He exists through all time, right? He's, uh, he's immutable. He doesn't change, right? Um, he's, he, you know, he, and he is sovereign. He, he makes all decisions and he is all good, right? So that's what he is. And our job is to bring glory to him. It is what, a, it is the purpose of a human being's life. Now, like I said, there's a problem there. If you're not a Christian, you can't. You absolutely cannot fulfill your purpose, right? So, how do we become a Christian? Well, that, that's a really obvious one, too. So, Romans 6, 23. It says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord, right? So, that's the key. We are separated from God by our sin, okay? Um, Jesus Christ died to reconcile us to God, okay? And then finally, if we say to God, to Jesus, I wish to be saved. I do not, I cannot pay for my own sins. Please pay for my sins in my stead. Reconcile me to God. You are saved. You will receive salvation if you believe in Jesus Christ that he can give you that salvation, which he absolutely can. So that's it. That's the purpose of life. The purpose of life is for us to glorify God. In order for us to fulfill our, pur our, our purpose, we must be reconciled to God. We must be Christians. We might, you know. Now, and the other thing is, so how do we glorify God? Well, that's pretty simple too. We read the Bible. That is how God communicates to us today. And in the Bible, it says, obey me. So everything in this book that I tell you to do, do it. Pray, serve, give, love, and be as much like Christ as possible. That's it. That's, that's what we do, right? We bring glory to God by reading the Bible and doing what God has told us inside. All right, let's get back to Toy Story 4, right? So I'll predict now, right, um, what they're going to, how they're going to answer this question, right? I, can, I, I think I already know how they're going to answer this question, right? I give you Disney's answer today, right? All right, so Disney is saying, what is the purpose of a human being, right? Well, Disney absolutely cannot bring forward an evangelical Christian uh, message for like 55 different reasons, right? All right. So what they're going to do is they're going to bring a secular reason, right? They're going to say uh, uh, a reason that is really divorced from spirituality, right? And um, and this is very common today. Many people are, are secular. They're uh, they're atheists or antagonists. Or they're atheists or agnostics or seculars, right? And those are people who live a life in which they really don't acknowledge God, or they either fully say God is not real, or they say, even if he's real, he's not really applicable to my life, right? So when you come from an atheist, agnostic, or secular perspective, here's the answer you're gonna get when you ask the question, 
what is the purpose of life? Well, right out of the gate, the, the biggest answer you're gonna get is uh, nothing, right? There is there is no clear purpose under atheism, under agnosticism, under secularism, right? So that group needs to, they need, they need, they can't, they can't leave the answer there. They can't like say, oh, the purpose is nothing, right? Like there are, actually, I will give it. There's a few people who say that, like we have no purpose. Is, is a bold statement. I applaud their bravery, right, for just staying with that horrendous, horrible answer. And actually, you could often tell the people who have that answer by people who just, like, intoxicate themselves for as much of their life as possible to deal with that, like, understanding that they have or that false understanding that they have, right? The But most, absolutely most atheists, agnostics, and seculars do not in any way, uh, they realize that, that that is not fulfilling to anyone, right? And so they need to, they need to fill that in. And this is, this is the answer I think you will get back from Disney, because I think this is the answer they've given to this question before, right? Which is, it is whatever you choose. It is whatever you choose, right? Now, why is that not a good answer? Like, why can't we, why can't you just go see Toy Story 4 and have the question raised, what is the purpose of a human being? And then you say, the purpose of my, the purpose of a human being, the purpose of me, is whatever I choose it to be. Well, here's why. You only have 75 years. Maybe you're lucky you get 125 years on this planet. You have some, uh, some amount of time between 75 and 125 years on this planet, right? You only got one shot, man. Like, you, like that's figuring all this out and doing the right thing right, in that amount of time is virtually impossible. I would say it is impossible, right? And the reality is you're going to, you're going to lead, you know, walk through life uh, trying to attempt to do something that you haven't been given the resources to do, right? Whereas if you're an evangelical Christian, right, it, your purpose is so clear. There's this book that has been carefully, you know, carried for millennia, for thousands of years. People are like, oh, my grandfather, my father, my grandmother, my mother told me that this book is special. When I read it, right, it looks to be better than any book I've ever read before. It certainly is uh, is bringing up more questions, and it has answers, right? So that you know, so I think that's so. Basically, when you come to Christianity, you're not starting at block one. You're not starting at zero or at, you know at the ground level. You're starting at you know at pretty much. You're starting way above base camp, like you know. The Bible and essentially evangelical Christianity is a helicopter, man. It, it takes you up to nearly, well, I think kind of in many ways, it takes you to the peak of this life and then says, the, this peak, you know, this it takes you to the peak of the mountain now in this world, right? And it's saying, hey, we're going to the moon base later, right? <laughs> like, whereas if you don't have that and you you go with atheist agnostic and secular teachings which you're going to find i think you're going to find in toy story 4 you're at, you're lower than base camp you're going to spend your whole life trying to get to base camp right it's just like so i was really blown away when i watched the toy story 4 trailer and go oh my goodness a pixar is asking the most important question there is in all of humanity and all of life right and so that, and then uh thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this because when somebody brings up at the national level oh hey what's the purpose of life and you're me and you already know what the purpose of life is and you have a platform you have got to share that like it, it would be cruel selfish and lazy for me not to say the answer that the Toy Story 4 uh, story, that Toy Story 4 trailer is shot, the question it is shouting to the world and telling people, we're gonna answer this question for you. Because the reality is, I'll tell you right now, Disney is absolutely never going to tell you the purpose of a human life. But the Bible does, it's to glorify God, and the way we glorify God is first we become Christians, and we do that by acknowledging Romans 6.23, which is, says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And then once we are Christians, we obey God right, by reading the Bible, praying, giving, serving, loving, um, all those things that, that, that God asks for us. You know, and, 
and 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 also gives us the instructions on how to do in in the Bible, right? And so that is the purpose of humanity, and that is how we obtain that purpose. All right, now I gave you my answer, right? Soon Disney is going to give you their answer in Toy Story three, Toy Story four. I really am very very interested to see what that answer is. My my prediction, my prediction, let's, get, uh, let's put it on record now, is the purpose of a human being's life is anything each person chooses that to be, right? And again, my answer, you start at the top of the mountain. Disney's answer, you're gonna scrabble your way through 75 years or 125 years just to get to base camp, all right? Uh, I'd love to know your opinion. Uh, let me know in the comments below, uh, please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful day.